Let's find out how payment is done using mobile wallet in POS. In POS, we will show you mobile wallet payments for PTM as well as MobiQuick. Let's see how it is done. Firstly, we have to select an item. Let's select this item in the POS bill. Customer selection is not mandatory for mobile wallet payment. You may or may not select a customer. Let's begin by selecting a customer. Click on F8. We are in the MOP window right now. Here you can see there are two mobile wallets, Paytm and MobiQuick. Let's begin with Paytm first. Let us suppose that we are paying rupees 10 using the Paytm mobile wallet. Type 10 rupees in the Paytm. Click on the mobile wallet button. You can see a new window has opened. This is the Paytm mobile wallet window. The amount has been carried forward from the MOP screen. The mobile number is the registered mobile number of the customer. You can change the mobile number here as well. Consider a scenario where a customer has come to the store and he decided to make a payment using a Paytm mobile wallet. But suddenly he realized that he left his mobile phone in his home. Now at this point, there is a flexibility that customers can use any other mobile number apart from his registered mobile number in the store. But that mobile number which he will be using has to be registered in a valid Paytm account which has got enough balance. Now apart from the mobile number, the customer needs to provide a time bound OTP code. Now what is a time bound OTP code? In case of Paytm mobile wallet, the Paytm app generates a OTP code that expires every one minute. Open the Paytm app, go to pay and send money option, then from there go to show code option. You will see a time bound OTP code has been generated. Copy the code. In the software, change the mobile number to the changed mobile number. Use the code time bound OTP code in this code field. Click on the proceed button. Once payment has been done using any mobile wallet, be it Paytm or MobiQuick or anyone, the user cannot use the cancel button or the escape option to go back to the pause bill window. After withdrawal of money from wallet account, the following options will remain restricted. The cancel or escape option and the clear payment option. Cashier cannot even change the wallet payment that has been made. He cannot increase or decrease the wallet payment amount. In any post transaction, be it pause bill or deposit bill or GV bill, only one wallet can be used for making payment. Currently, multiple wallets are not supported. The customer can pay the remaining payment in cash or any other mode of payment. Now save the bill. Payment using Paytm mobile wallet has been successfully made. Let us now see how to make a pause bill payment using MobiQuick mobile wallet. The process is more or less similar to that of the previous one. We have to select the item first. Now this time I am not selecting any customer since customer selection is not mandatory. I am straight away clicking on F8 and going to the MOB mode. You can see MobiQuick mode of payment. In case of any mobile wallet payments be it MobiQuick or Paytm, adding new similar MOPs is restricted. We cannot click on the add MOP button like we do for other MOPs and add similar MOPs. The process of paying using MobiQuick wallet is almost similar to that of Paytm. I am saying almost because instead of TOTP based payment that we have seen earlier in Paytm, this is traditional OTP based payment. First I have to insert the value. Then either I can click on the wallet payment button or I can press enter. 
the Mobiquick wallet payment window opens up. The amount is carried forward from the MOP window. You can see there is a send request button. Since it's a traditional OTP based payment, once when I provide the mobile number here, and click on the send request button an OTP would be generated and sent to my mobile number. The OTP received in the mobile number should be inserted in the OTP field. Click on proceed button. Now save the bill. Payment is successful.